karma is coming for the narcissist. The narcissist targeted you. They love bombed you. They devalued you. They lied. They future faked. And then they discarded you. They used up everything that you had to offer. Until there was nothing left or they got bored. Or until you finally said no more. And then they left you for someone else. Someone who is meant to be a bigger, better deal. Someone who has more to offer. Because you were never enough for them. But when the narcissist does this, they don't suspect that karma is coming for them. They're not anticipating it. So karma often catches them off guard. So they get the full blow. They get the full effects of their karma. The narcissist thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought that other people were in a better situation. They weren't satisfied with you. Because they have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. Nothing is ever enough for them. So they got rid of you. With the assumption that there are better things in other places. But instead, they ended up with someone who is foolish and incompetent. Someone who lacks good sense and judgment. Someone who is unwise and someone who lacks adequate ability. But this happens a lot. Narcissists always think the grass is greener on the other side. They always think that other people have it better. They take advantage of opportunities as and when they arise, regardless of planning or principle, regardless of preparation or arrangement, because they lack moral rules and beliefs that would help them to know what is right and wrong, which would have influenced their actions, which is why they will go forward with it because they're looking to gain something materialistic. They're looking to gain money, cars and clothes. They're not looking to gain anything of a valuable substance. So they're not going to value or be committed to anything that they have with you. They will wander off. They will lose their way. Like a homeless person or a stray cat or dog. But when they do that, they run into people who know how to play the game. People who know how to create the illusion of having something better, of having something more, of being able to meet the narcissist's desires and needs. Nothing is perfect. Nothing goes without problems or difficulties. But when problems arise, the narcissist begins to look elsewhere. They begin to look at other people's relationships. They begin to look at what other people are doing and they're accepting people as they claim to be. They accept it and believe it without thinking about it, rather than studying it more closely. So they don't realize that what we see from the outside is all a facade. It's all a deceptive outward appearance. 
It's a false display. It isn't real. They have the same issues that you're going through. They have the same arguments. It's not as pleasant as it looks. But the narcissist is always looking for the bigger, better deal. They're always looking for their next shiny new toy. So they believe what they see and they react to it. They start to distance themselves because now they're looking for this new situation, which in their minds is going to be a lot better than what they had with you. But there are a lot of con artists out there. People who exaggerate and lie. People who speak nonsense. There are other narcissists. There are people who modify their game to bait these types of people in. People who have just left a relationship. People who are deeply impressed and astonished. People who have their eyes wide open with interest, curiosity and amazement. People who are looking for anything that could be better. The con artist baits and hooks the narcissist by creating a facade, by selling a dream. And it gives the narcissist a sudden feeling of excitement and pleasure. But it's done in a skillful and dishonest way. It's a scam. But there's a reason why the narcissist gets so caught up in it. There were certain things that you wanted and desired from the narcissist, but they were very lazy. They neglected you. They made less effort than before. Because you were being realistic about things in life. You were showing a sensible and practical idea of what can be achieved and expected. You were showing a practical awareness of things as they are. You weren't selling them a dream. You weren't showing them a fantasy. So you became boring to the narcissist. But this new person they're dealing with has created a character that is fun and exciting. That gives them excitement and pleasure. Because they're selling a dream to the narcissist. And the narcissist falls for it. They've been completely tricked and deceived. But in their minds, they think it's exactly what they needed. They think it's what they were looking for. So they might be very kind and generous to this new person because they don't realize they're being deceived. They might start doing more. They might do the things that you wanted them to do. They might do more than what they did with you. And this new person will be kicking game. They will be very charming because there's an exchange. They're getting something in return. This new person is creating the facade. They're creating the illusion. They're future faking. They're making all of these false promises for the future without taking the steps to make it a reality. And the narcissist is dealing with it with a lot of effort and energy. Because they think it's everything that they were looking for. They think their dreams have come true. So they're extra. They're doing the absolute most for no reason. They're showing off. They're thirsty for attention. Because they want to be chosen by this new person. But this new person isn't serious about anything. They're just engaging it for recreational use. They just see it as a form of amusement and enjoyment. It's just a form of entertainment. They're enjoying the reactions from the narcissist. 
and how the narcissist was willing to kick you to the curb and throw you under the bus and portray you as less impressive and important and talk bad about you. It gave this new person excitement and pleasure because some people actually get excited and aroused by this type of stuff. They find it amusing. It makes them happy and satisfied. To have someone leave a person who is meant to be significant and important to them. And they were the cause of it. It's a typical thing that narcissists do. They enjoy it. It makes them feel like they're the best because they got the narcissist to leave you and you may be married to the narcissist or you may have children with them. And now the narcissist is with this new person and they're doing everything they can for them. But it's just something they do to feel better about themselves. It's something that seems good but it's not real or effective. It's done to take away attention from an embarrassing and unpleasant issue. It's intended to deceive and confuse you. But the problem is that they only pretended to have it all together, when in reality, that excitement and pleasure doesn't last very long. And because they didn't have to work hard for it, they spend the money very quickly. And then they're back to square one. They're broke. And they end up being in worse condition than you were. And this is where karma gets them. Because now they're stuck. They said all of these things about you. They told their family and friends that they're done with you. Because there's all of these things wrong with you. But now they've discovered that the real issue is with the person they ran off to. And they may have married this new person. They may have had children with them. They may be living together. But it's all for nothing. Because once the scheme and deception has been revealed, it's all over. The new person is going to drop the narcissist because they were never invested for the long run. They weren't planning for the future. It was just fun. But the narcissist bought into the dream. They thought they could find a bigger, better deal than something that was already good. They bought into the illusion that they could get better, but that mentality ran them into something that broke them down. Something that brought them right back to reality, because life doesn't work that way. But they've put themselves in such an embarrassing situation. They can't even come back to look at you. Especially if you know how badly they were treated. You will probably never see them the same way again. It's done. And then they're left with nothing. Because the new person didn't have anything to lose anyway. They just saw it as a game. The narcissists thought they were about to gain an advantage over you. They thought they had found something better than you. But instead, they ended up being treated like a prostitute. They were waiting on the corner to be picked up and then dropped back off. And oftentimes, they were just used as someone else's punishment. Maybe the new person wanted to punch their ex or someone that they were dealing with. And at the same time, they were used as your punishment. You were just another person on their carousel of pain. And the new person just bought their way into the narcissist's life. 
they treated the narcissist like a prostitute. They were just using the narcissist for a good time. And it's not a good feeling. They had a much better situation when they were with you. But they failed to notice and consider you. They took it for granted. They minimized your value. Just so they could chase a dream and end up with nothing. They end up worse off than when they left you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.